Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about shift instruction in C language, which can be used for PIC microcontrollers. So I will be explaining only the syntax uh, which one can follow to improvise them or to utilize them into uh, the various applications. So let's discuss then. When we talk about shift instruction, then we will have to consider them. There are two type of uh, shift instruction. It can be left shift or it can be right shift. So first of all, we will discuss left, left shift. For example, let's say there is a variable which we have defined A in C language. Let's say in hexadecimal, it is equal to uh, five, four hex, right? And we want to uh, shift it by, uh, sh we want to shift it towards left by some bits because you know that shifting means you are shifting your individual bits, right? So uh, for example, if I want to shift variable A uh, by towards left, so then I will use the sign, less than sign two times, that means we are using it. It is also called left shift operator in C language, right? And how many bits I want to shift it? Let's say I want to shift it by two bits, right? So the data will be shifted by two bits, right? So just to understand, I will shift it to one time or one bit, and I will try to explain it uh, using some examples. So let's say manually, if I'm going to do it, A, we know that A is equal to what? Five, four hexadecimal, and in binary, it will be equal to what? Zero, one, zero, one, and zero, one, double, zero. So if I'm going to shift it towards left, what is going to happen? This zero from the left side will eventually come out and we will have this number, right? Uh, one zero, zero will be taken from the least significant level and then one double zero. And we will be having a vacancy on the right side and we will put it by zero or we will substitute it by zero. So this is what the left shift result. So uh, if you convert it back into hexadecimal, one zero one zero means it will become A and one double zero means eight or one triple zero means eight. So the after the manipulation or after the execution of this instruction, a variable will become, instead of five, four hacks, it will become a eight hacks, right? So this is the left shift. Let's talk about now right shift. So let's say I'm gonna discuss the right shift. Procedure is almost similar, except we are going to shift this time towards right side. So let's say I'm gonna take a variable. I can take any variable, but remember it's a C language. If you use a variable line, a variable name in capital letter, so you will use it later on also in capital letter, right? It is a case sensitive. So small b and capital B will have a difference, different of uh, meanings, right? So basically let's say we consider zero x seven, three hats, right? This is a C statement if I'm going to use a right shift operator. So I will write B is equal to B. So this is a basically a greater than sign and I'm using it two times. So this is called right shift operator in C language. Uh, so, and let's say I'm, I'm, I want to shift two bits now. So that's it. So let's see uh, how it's going to happen if I'm going to do it manually. So seven, three hats is basically in binary will become zero, triple one and double zero, double one, right? So if I'm going to shift it, uh, on the right side, what is going to happen? These two bits from the right side will remove because they will co come out of the variable. So what is going to happen? The value will look like this zero, zero, because we are moving from right side. These double one comes later on. Okay. And zero, one. So eventually, if you notice it, you see that there are two vacancies of zeros now, and it will be substitute by two zeros. So this will be the output of right shift. Uh, and if I'm going to convert it back into hexadecimal, that will become one and double one double zero means 12, which is equal to C in hexadecimal. So that will be the output of hexadecimal shifting. Uh, or right shifting by two units of variable seven, three hacks, and it will become now one C hacks, right? So I hope you have understand this shift instructions which are used in C language 
and you can use it in various applications for any microcontroller system. So I hope you have understand it. If you have any confusion, please post those confusions in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.